Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Today I'm going to be talking about some new dolls we've got promotional images for. This is a series on my channel where I talk about doll news and new dolls that are going to be coming out. If you love dolls as much as I do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check me out on Instagram and TikTok. But anyway, let's talk about some new dolls. Now first of all, we have some new Barbie fashionistas coming out. I think last time I spoke about the fashionistas, I was not very impressed. I definitely feel like the fashion element of the fashionistas has been declining in recent years, although there are a couple dolls I'm talking about today that I actually quite like. I mean, the quality of the fashionistas isn't amazing, but the fashion, you know, it kind of ebbs and flows. First of all, here we have the Barbie in the line, and she's really adorable, and the kind of standout feature of this one is that she has braces. She's really cute. I mean, she's got an adorable face. The braces are really cute. I, her hair looks really nice. The dress is fine. It's a cute little rainbow number. Um, quite basic. I think that's kind of like an overarching theme of these fashionistas, these current fashionistas, is that then the outfits aren't bad, they're just boring. They're just really, really boring. <sighs> Next up we have this one, and I have to say, I don't like this one. Again, they've gone for a t-shirt dress. They often fall back on a t-shirt dress um, for the Fashionista line, probably to save on material. It is probably the most basic dress you can possibly make. And this fabric, this pattern, hideous. Hideous. It's got like so many different colours, like this really cringy, like, uh, graffiti style with some, like, leopard print thrown in there. It's, it's atrocious. I, the doll itself is quite cute. The outfit, grim. Horrible. Okay, next up we have this one. Um, she's cute. She's fine. I don't really have any complaints about this one. Her face sculpt looks a bit weird. It looks quite mature, like she's slightly older than the other dolls. And the outfit is fine, it's cute, again, just kind of boring, you know, there's not a lot to it. It's very, very middle of the road. I really hate the pom-poms on her shoes though, I will say that. Okay, this one is absolutely my favourite of this line. She's really cute. I love this outfit. It's really current, very youthful, got kind of 60s influences, but also like noughties influences with the like three-quarter lengths. And I don't normally like three-quarter lengths, but here I think they look really cute. Uh, I love her sandals. I love her big gold heart earrings. She's got a really cute face. And also, they never, ever dress the fashionistas in trousers. Ever. I don't know why, but they never dress them in trousers. So to have a doll in trousers, I think, is really exciting. More trousers. <laughs> Next up, we have this one. Um... Boring. Again, I just think this is boring. I really hate the print on the outfit. I hate the fact that it's two different colours. Like, it's very similar, but two different colours. And it says PWR. What does that stand for? Power? Oh, and then GRL. Yeah, so it's girl power. But written in, like, outdated text speak. Cringe. It's just a cringe outfit. And I don't know. I don't really like the doll either. It's... No. Okay, this one's quite cute. I like her face sculpt. I don't, I don't recognise this face sculpt. I'm not sure we've seen it before. Um, I don't like the shoes. They're like, they've got like big ruffles on the front. I'm not really sure why. She's got a plastic hair scrunchie around her wrist, which I don't like. And then the outfit itself is again, quite boring. It's quite plain, but it's fine. And the doll itself I think is really cute. Okay, and next up we have two Ken dolls, two new Ken dolls. One is wearing uh, kind of like a t-shirt with print on and then like shorts with the same print on but in a different colour. I hate it when they do that. Like two prints that are like very similar but not quite the same. I think that looks awful. And I hate the yellow trainers. Uh, and then the other one, the other doll I think actually looks quite cool. I like his t-shirt. I like his little shorts. He's got some white trainers on. The one with his hair tied up, I just think looks really out of date, and I, I just hate that outfit, it looks really cringe. Okay, next up we have a whole bunch of new Cutie Reveal dolls. They have been churning the Cutie Reveal dolls out, like, I, I don't know when they originally came out, but we've had so 
many, I think it was in like April. We've had so many different lines. They are like producing them so quickly. This one obviously has a bit of a kind of tropical animal theme, like jungle animals. They're fine, not really much to say about any of them. I think my favourite is probably the elephant, just because the elephant's face looks adorable. Um, Barbie as a monkey is quite cute as well, although I don't really understand why, like, half of it is pink and half of it is brown. Kind of strange. A pink monkey would have been really cute. Or a brown monkey, but kind of like the two-tone looks weird. And I don't like the toucan with the colourful legs. Not a big fan of that. Okay, next up we have some basic glam, uh, or is it glitz or glam, I can't remember, uh, Barbie dolls, and they're really cute. I really like them. I have to say, you know, some of my favourite Barbie dolls are just the basic dolls, because they're, they're, they're quite basic, but they do the trick, and I think these two look really cute. Like, they're adorable, I like their shoes, I like their dresses, good, love that. Okay, next up we have this fashion playset thing. I like this. Some of the clothes look not great, <laughs> but I think the biggest issue I have with this set is the fact that the doll has a painted on, like, vest top. Why do they do that? Like, there's a jumper right there. Just put her in the jumper. Here are some more basic Barbie dolls, and again, these are cute. Like, these are really cute. Um, they're in, again, very, very basic outfits, but I like the fact that they're all in different colours, it's giving rainbow, it's giving pride. We love this. I think it's cute. Okay, we have another Barbie limo playset. They have reissued this playset so many times. I think the first time it was ever released was in like 2010. And then every year there's been a new Barbie party limo thing. If you want to see my video where I talk about all of Barbie's vehicles, I'll put a link in the description or on the screen somewhere. But this one comes with three, no, four, I can count, <laughs> four really cute dolls. The articulation is not good, but th it never is with Barbie. So yeah, I, I like these. Now, speaking of articulation, we have some new made to move dolls. And these ones are ballerinas, and I like them! I like them. I do think it's a shame, obviously, that their ballet outfits are predominantly just painted onto their body. I, I would much prefer removable fashions, but they do look nice, these dolls. I like the fact that they've dressed them in different colours as well. It kind of adds to the collectability. They're nice, I like them. I like the pearly colour on their chest. Okay, we have a new line of Stacy Babysitter, Babysitter Ink dolls. They're cute. Again, just kind of boring, you know? I mean, like, what, what is there to say about these? I've never bought any of these dolls in the past. I probably won't buy these, just because there's not a lot to them. If they had, like, more articulation, then I probably would buy them, because they're cute. They're fine. Okay, now, Barbie Instagram was a buzz with the announcement of this next doll. This is a vintage-inspired Barbie 12 Days of Christmas, like, advent calendar doll. I think this is really cool. I really want this. If you would like to see an unboxing of this, I will do that. I will buy this doll and unbox it for you guys. Mostly because I really want this doll. She's beautiful. Um, her, like, Santa Claus inspired 50s dress is stunning. I mean, knowing Mattel, it's probably going to be very, very expensive, this doll. Um, I'm expecting at least £100. Okay, now moving on to some Disney dolls. We have the new holiday Disney Store exclusive doll for this year. It is Tinkerbell, and here she is. And wow, I mean, I really like it. I really like this doll. I think she's beautiful. Do I like her as much as the previous holiday dolls from the Disney store? No, no. She doesn't look like the previous ones, but I do like the fact that we're getting a Tinkerbell doll because, you know, she's very fantasy inspired. Her outfit lends itself quite well to a Christmas outfit because they've added all the holly on it, which I think is really cute. I really like this design. I think the biggest issue I have with this doll is the fact that she's in flat shoes. Like, how boring. I hate flat shoes. Anyway. We also got a whole bunch of Disney doll gift sets, as you can see here. This is probably in the run-up to Christmas. These are going to be Christmas gifts for kids across the world. 
One of the most exciting parts of these gift sets is probably the fact that there is a Vanessa doll, Ursula's alter ego, in the uh, Little Mermaid box set, which, you know, is stunning. And it has that kind of 80s glittery dress in it that Ariel emerges out of the water wearing at the end of The Little Mermaid. I love that dress. I love that dress. So I'm really glad they've included it in this doll set. The Aladdin set also has that red outfit Jasmine wears, which I love. I don't really care for the Frozen one. And the Disney Princess gift set, rather interestingly, comes with Esmeralda, which I love, because Esmeralda does not get enough love in the Disney Princess lineup. I would love to own that Disney Princess doll set. I've always wanted one. We also have a Holiday Edition Rainbow High doll, which I'm really excited for. And this one looks beautiful. The box is stunning. She's like in this white ball gown dress. It has a kind of pearlescent shine to it. She's beautiful. And I will definitely be getting this doll. We have two new LOL Surprise OMG like sports dolls. I'm not, I'm not a big sports fan, so I don't really care about these. I especially don't really like the basketball one. I just don't like this outfit. Like, odd, odd colour combination. But I do quite like the tennis one. She's cute. I love her little tennis skirt. She's giving Serena Williams. We love that. She's cute. I probably won't buy either of these, though. We have some more Bratz reissue reproduction dolls. I'm getting kind of bored <laughs> of Bratz making reproductions, although I am quite excited about these ones because uh, of this lineup here, I only have the Megan, the Megan, the one in the middle, and the Nevra, the one in the butterfly top. All the others I don't already own, so I definitely want to get the uh, Ooh La La Bratz one and the Wild Wild West one. Naughty's style is so in right now, so these dolls really speak to me. Next up, we have Dream Ella, <laughs> Dream Ella, extra icon dolls. When I saw these dolls, I was like, oh my goodness, the rivalry between MGA and Mattel continues. MGA is bringing out the big guns, they are coming for Barbie's gig, they've literally named a doll line, you know, something extra, but then they've added an extra word at the end, so it's extra icon. But still, I mean, obviously it's meant to be ripping off the Barbie extra line. And you know what they're doing? Quite a good job at ripping it off. I think these dolls are quite cute. I love the one in the kind of shiny tracksuit trousers and the fluffy jacket. And I also like the one with the, like, knee-high socks. These dolls are adorable. And the Dream Ella line is very reasonably priced, which I think is always a bonus. There are also some more colour reveal Dream Ella dolls. These ones are fairies. They're cute. They're, they're nicely designed. I love how full their skirts are. I love their wings. Their shoes are really cute with the stars. Yeah, I don't like the wigs though. I hate those like helmet wigs that they keep putting on doll lines at the moment. They just look trash. They've managed to make them look quite good in this promotional image. But normally, like, in person, they look terrible. Okay, doll fans, I've spoken about some of the new dolls, which are going to be coming out very soon. Please let me know what you thought of the dolls on my list. Also, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Check me out on Instagram and TikTok, and I will see you real soon, doll fans. <laughs> Bye!